name is uh, Marius Lucas. I'm uh, uh, the chair of the uh, Department of Anatomical Sciences at uh, St. George University in Grenada. And the book that we did, uh, that we published in July of 2009, was a uh, Grace Anatomy review book for students. Grace Anatomy for Students, the review book, uh, it was an interesting, an interesting idea. Um, I, I own this partly to Peter Abrahams. Uh, during the New York meeting of the American Association of Clinical Anatomists, uh, I think it was in 2004, if I'm not mistaken, uh, he said to me, um, I would like to invite you in a dinner with Elsevier, that we all the authors, and it would be good for you to, to meet those guys. They're really nice. So I went with Peter and I was sitting next to uh, Bill Smith. Uh, Bill Smith is one of the major editors in uh, Elsevier. So Bill says to me after eating, I don't know, like two filet mignons, so Maris, do you have any, any ideas, you know, any, any, anything that you would like to do with us? And I had a couple of ideas, but it was never to the, to the extent of a book. So he caught me a little bit off guard, so I said, oh yeah, um, I would like to create a multiple choice questions for uh, anatomy that they are geared to, towards USMLE, so students that can practice. So he said, mm -hmm, that's, that's a great idea. So anyway, after talking a little bit, we, we, we found that both of us would have common interest, who was the gym. I used to go to the gym back then a lot. Uh, so he said, well, do you want to go to the gym tomorrow? I'm like, sure. So, so we start lifting weights, you know, most people they go for golfing, they, they do other, you know, uh, more kind of uh, down-to-the-earth sports, but we were lifting weights and anyway, shrugging 300 pounds. And, so into that fun discussion about protein shakes and lifting weights, I think Bill got convinced that's a good idea. And uh, after, I think, one year, uh, we gave some supple chapters, uh, we worked on the details and uh, we got a contract for the Grace Anatomy Review Book, which approximately, I think, 950, 900 uh, multiple choice questions, USMLE style, for, uh, for, uh, for anatomy and, and a little bit of embryology. We really have no competitors. Uh, it was the only pure book uh, for USMLE type of questions for anatomy. So we didn't really have an actual competition. I know there were a couple of other books uh, um, that they had some s small number of, uh, of, of uh, questions at the end of each chapter, but they were not USMLE type. And they were not really, you know, the USMLE type question book. So we, we didn't really have a competition. It was, it was the first of, of this kind. And uh, I think that makes, made it easier to convince, I guess, Elsevier and and fill a big gap, I think, that existed. Students, more and more, they need questions to practice uh, in all the fields, uh, especially for USMLE, and also, you know, to feel confident that they have understood the materials. Um, so it could be anatomy, histobiochemistry, physio, everything. So in anatomy, really, it was a gap, and, and, and it's crucial, especially for the first year medical students to get that feeling that to develop the confidence to, to more or less check themselves that the things that they read is the appropriate ones and they can they can more or less go into that pathway of uh, the USMLE pathway and do well in their steps. So I think I think you feel that that gap that existed. Pathology I know from Robbins Pathology uh, has a very good review book and we kind of copy that idea towards the first year, first year medical students and I think it worked pretty well so now it becomes like a good continuum between first year and second year between books of this nature.